Welcome back to another random videos. And in this video, we head back to my home state of Ohio, Whitehall, Ohio, uh, where we find another police impersonator. Let's just get into the video and you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, I need to go talk to him. Thanks. Hi there. Hey. Yeah. So you're an actual Cleveland police officer? No, no, I'm not with Cleveland PD. I work for uh, Cleveland Watchmen. We're a security company that hires only off-duty police officers to do traffic control. For, uh, are you an off-duty police officer? Yeah. Yeah. So who are you with? Uh, Pickway Sheriff's Office. Pickway. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So. So you're you're out of. They do. Ohio. Ohio, and you're here working in Franklin County in Whitehall as an off-duty police officer. No, I'm working as security guard. So we do. No, you're a uniform mark as a police officer. You're working as a police officer right now with a car that has red and blue lights on it. Yeah. All so right. I've got. I've got some paperwork I can give to you from absolutely that, and I'll need to get your you. information okay. I've been asked yeah. to come up for by my deputy chief and get that okay because yeah here you, you damn impersonators I do believe that this guy is close to becoming a police officer, but not sworn in. They offered it, I guess, as special duty to your guys. No, they did not. Okay. That's what we were told. Not at all. Nope. Not at all. And if it gets offered to us, if we pass it, we have to give it to Franklin County. And they, they said they offered it to them and they passed too. So. No, they did not. Okay. <laughs> this is a long video, by the way. It's about an hour long. I might fast forward through some of the slow stuff. I don't know yet if there is any. Where's the car come from? Cleveland Watchmen, the company that I work for. So they're owned by two. It's a not-for-profit agency owned by two Cleveland police officers. Not bad, sir. 55, copy of 12 for Henry Henry Paul 7740. Henry Henry Paul 7740. Go ahead and just print that out for me. I'll be out here at uh, Collingwood and Broad talking to this uh, company working up here. Do you have your ID on you by chance? Does that get your information? Are you full-time over in Pickway? Uh, I live in Pickway, so, um, let's see. 74 to 105. So I left the sheriff's office there. I'm going to, uh, I was full-time there. I left full-time uh, as a jail dep there. Uh, the so you're not even a police officer? Uh, currently, I'm, I'm, well, I'm starting a new commission with a, a village up in um, Richland County, so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but what I'm saying is you're not even a police officer. Okay. You are currently not a full-time or a part-time police officer anywhere. Reserve. Okay, where are you a reserve officer at? So, give me a second. I'll give you the name of the village because it got hooked up through the company here that I'm working with. So. Okay, so you have an ID from that village? Not with me, no. Not with you? No. So you don't have an ID, you don't have a badge. What's the badge you were displaying earlier? Sorry? What's the badge you were displaying earlier? What do you mean? Do you have a badge? Yes. What was that the badge old. you were displaying earlier? That's my old Pickway one. So you have a Pickway County badge, but you don't work for them? It's a previous one from there, yeah. All right. Yeah. You have that with flex. you currently? Yeah, it's a flex badge. Can I see that, please? Yeah. I'm going to take that bad boy. Fifty-five to sixty-three. Why do I feel like I'm about to actually get you yeah. end up by you guys? For... Yes, I'm gonna need you to stop up here, please. I'm on the KFC lot of calling one fraud. This has gotten much deeper. 
much deeper. What are you on? Yeah, well, I talked about you earlier, that traffic detail. Okay. That picture almost looked like DeWitt. So the company, the company's trying to get you a reserve commission. They already got one. They already got one. So the guy that owns the company, he's in my unit for the, for the guard, um, and then uh, another guy that's in, in my unit is chief of police, Sergeant Proper. Now let me, um, let me call John, who is the command sergeant major in my. Unit. He's also the okay. Those are all military people, right? Yeah, but he's he's the owner of this company. He's the owner of this company. So let me call him. He's That's got fine. a gun on him. Hey, John. Okay. So I'm out here in Fifty-five copy and OL number for me. Tom Tom nine nine five eight four five. Tom Tom nine nine five eight four five. Yeah, print that off for me and hold it. Please, we may try to get make contact this house. Talk to him about the vehicle. It hasn't been 24 hours yet. Come in. This guy going to get himself hemmed up. 25-55. Yeah, go ahead. Are you 10 five? Yeah, I am right at the moment. Not quite sure what you got up there, but if it's going to be like an impersonation kind of thing, we're right down the road. We can help you with that part of it. Yeah, actually, both might want to come down here to handle maybe the military end of it. Okay, we'll be down that way. He's just finishing some notes. I'll be on route for 55. And 55 to 111. Yeah, you work for Pickway, correct? Hey, from. Yeah, why don't you stop over here for me? Uh, you might be able mm. to answer a question for me. Plot thickens. We're on route from 220. 80 to 55. Still good for yeah, go ahead. I don't know if he ran that or not, but he's got a line of duty crash from Banks County. Yeah, I know. Um, at one point, he might have worked for somebody. Okay. I don't know what you have. Just let me know. He crashed the car? why he was a police officer somewhere else. Probably why he got fired. 
Probably one of those guys that hop around and gets fired. Go ahead. Yeah, and if you would, uh, for the screen, just add this company name. This is the uh, power company that's up here. It's Matrix, uh, Mary, Adam, Tom, Robert, Ida, and X-Ray, Nora, Adam, Charles. Okay, it initially just kind of did a comment screen. Do you want like a 48, 48A screen? Yeah, that'll work for now. Um, just, yeah, make up a screen and put this all day. Okay. 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 I don't know how you guys feel, but impersonators are my favorite videos. Are you to guys watch. out of Pennsylvania? You guys out of PA? Uh, uh, the company is, but we're for Okay, I, I just saw the tag. That's what I was wondering if you guys. Hey, do you know an Aaron Oakley? He, I think he used to be a Whitehall cop. Now he's a lineman. Here. I didn't know if you might know him or not. No, nah, he could have been one of our auxiliaries. There, there's a ton of them. What, what's going on? I don't understand. Go ahead, Mr. He's not a police officer. You got who's the supervisor? He's gone. He's gone, he's gone right now. Here. He went to uh, the AEP. That's his, we that's his second back? command now. Okay. I want to say AWP hired. Did, did AWP hire you? Yes. Yeah, AWP hired. Um, so AWP or AEP? AWP. AWP. Okay. Area wide protective. Ah ha ha. Okay, them. Hmm. Okay. I see you guys. Must be like a Dwight clone. The way you said that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so the village is Glenmont, Ohio. And I was trying to call the chief just now to have him vouch for it. So, um, Hey George. Okay, so police is here. Definitely should not be wearing that vest that says police. I think when someone gets fired from places like uh, being a cop, they should have they should take all their gear away from them. Every all of it. That's probably left over. What a lot of police officers do when they get before they get fired, they'll quit. So not to have a firing on their record, you know what I'm saying? Seven five, I'm pulling up with S fifty five. Copy. Oh yeah, it's about to get good, I hope. I haven't seen this video. Here. Tell me what's wrong with it. Plastic. Yeah. That's Plastic. what he was displaying. And he's armed and everything. Have we taken his firearm? Not yet. See, this is who he works for, which is, he's in the military. Yeah, but the screen printed. He's in the military. He, the guy who owns his company is his uh, commanding officer. Some uh, sergeant. First sergeant, it sounds like. All right. And they got hired to do this company here, area-wide area -wide protection. He says he used to work. It was AWP was on one of those trucks. Yeah. Well, no, that's them. They're, they're stuff. So they, so he says he now works for the village of Glenmont, Ohio. He used to work for Pickway County. I said, so you're currently not certified anywhere. And he goes, well, I'm a reserve officer. I said, give me an ID or a patch. He said, well, I don't have one because they're trying to get that. Yeah, so he's over there uh, no, with his required. boss, who is a military officer. All this, all these people are related to the military that work for this here, this off duty. Where's the military guy? Yeah. Well, that's who. What's up? Is he? He is. All right, real quick. So, this is what he was displaying. It's fake. <laughs> that's cool. Well, maybe that's he is. Reason. He is armed. Okay. He's fully armed, acting as police officer. He has a vest on, says police. All right. Now, he says that he worked for Pickway County Sheriff's Office, but he no longer works for them. And I said, well, well let me see that badge you were displaying. He said, well, well, and I said, no, let me see the badge you were just displaying when I pulled up. Because he was showing it to Jeff Hart. So, this yeah. is what I took off of him. I said, so who do you work for now? And I said, he says, well, I, I work for a, a village. I said, well, let me see your idea for them and your, our badge. He said, well, I don't have any. I said, so who? He, who does he work for? Well, he finally gave it to me because he had to call his boss 
who is the owner, who they're all related from the military. They're all in the same military unit together. Who is a, a, a either retired or off-duty Cleveland police officer who started this. Yeah, yeah. But my question is, is, is he, he said, a police officer? Well, he's on the phone. He's trying to get a hold of his chief now of this village, who is the village. It's Glenmont, Ohio. But he says this. This Cleveland police officer, who he works for for this company, is trying to get them all reserve commissions through this village. So he's currently not a police officer anywhere. Okay, so he's not a police officer. That's yeah, good. yeah, he him hums around about that. He won't give you a direct answer, but he finally said, you are not a police officer anywhere. Well, no, not really. I said, you're not commissioned anywhere. So. All right, so he's not a police officer. No. So. If he is not a police officer and he's working for this company. Well, he, yeah, they don't know. They basically, so this area-wide protection, as soon as he said that, that's the one I dealt with before with the same exact problem. Area-wide protection hired Cleveland Watchmen, which is off-duty Cleveland and other officers through a, a military group. It's a group of military people that are officers. They hired them and the, he came down. This, that's why this comes back, I guess, to the company. And it's got red and blues. Well, Sorry. here's what I suggest: one of one of two options. I'll leave it to you. You're the boss out here. But I would say, if if he's working for this company and he's not a police officer, we have we have two options. One you could, which he can work for a company and he can regulate traffic. I know, yeah. but he worked Look, for them. He he worked for Pickway. What's his name? He's got uh, Casey. Cassidy Casey Williams. Casey Williams. Oh yeah. yeah. He's over there. You know Casey? him? Yeah, he was fired from Pickaway. Oh, uh, okay. Well, he's he's displaying their badge out here. Uh -oh. That's a made badge. That's not our badge. Right, yeah. yeah. We don't uh, provide those and we don't approve those. Well, yeah. So you have two options. If, if he wanted you to, to get stay back working, he would have to you take off. There. Yeah. This is weak. Right. <laughs> I'm still getting used Where's to it. Where's our guy? We, He's, oh, there. He's over there. So, He's yo, I, I would so, say there's okay. two options. Hi, so, Lieutenant. Listen, How are you? I would say you could say, well, if you're going to regulate traffic, you have oh, to take wow. off anything that says police officers, and you cannot turn those lights on if they have a blue light on them, period. Unless that law has changed, only police officers can have blue light. Okay. Fire or department. You would cite him for having the blue light and charge him with personating a police officer. Or... Instead of just advising him, you could do both of those things right now if we saw him doing all this stuff that you're saying. Well, I'm not going to see issue what with Pick that. Pickway County wants to do about this, and if, too. And if we, if we charge him He's with this, yeah, if we charge him with that crime and we cite him with that, um, and we impound that vehicle for the equipment violation, which we could also do, but we don't have to do that, um, then I'm pretty sure that's going to take care of this process in the future. Yeah. Whoa. Summons him for impersonating a police officer. He's got a badge on him with a uh, claiming to be an officer. They didn't him hauled around, write all that up about who he is and and all that kind of stuff. And you know, if you want to, he's out here regulating. Him he's out here right. It's not impersonating. I think that's the theft offense. Impersonating a police officer. Make sure if you don't know this, Joe White. There's two different impersonators. There's one called impersonating a police officer, one called personating a police officer. One of them, I think, oh, is the impersonating is under the theft section where you're doing it. Uh, I think. Well, I'm trying to get so it. Some before we do, before some, I go that so, yeah, route. Yeah, you'd have to see which one applies. And I'm not yeah. sure about before it. I go that route, I definitely want to find out if he does, if he has a commission with Village of Glenmont, the yeah. then, then yes. Right. But, then when, but either way, he's not working for them right now, so that light doesn't come on and he displays nothing that says police. And then I'm okay with that resolution too. If that's right. where you end up. Going. But did, wouldn't he get a CCW charge too if he didn't have a concealed carry, but, he's, but he has it on? Yes. Well, he's open carry. Oh, he's open. It's fine. But he's in the vehicle. Um, not when I haven't seen him in the vehicle. He he was out walking around talking to Jeff Hart. Well, when we saw and that's one law I think is the dumbest law ever. You can open carry, but as soon as you get into a car, you're concealed. I think they're just splitting hairs when they made that law. You know what I'm saying? They're, uh, I don't know. I feel like they're trying to hem people up on purpose when they're in a car to get him for a carrying a concealed weapon. You know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. If you're allowed to carry a weapon in Ohio, because I know we got open carry now, you should be allowed to have it in your vehicle. On you. It's ridiculous. I saw him. He was just sitting in the vehicle, so if he had it on him, 
out, then it would be a success. It would probably be an improper transport, right? Yeah, because improper he's, handling. Yeah, improper handling, because he's got it openly displayed at least. Um, but that you're right, yeah, that's a good vest. call. That you might have a violation on that of some sort, depending on what he's doing. But if he's out walking around with it, then we don't. Yeah. But if he's in the vehicle driving and it's not proper secure, right, then you have that also. All right, let me go. So, I, I'll let you decide, right? All right. But he might end up with at least secure. What happens if your vehicle has no doors on it? Here, give that to Brooke and for now. I can't get a hold of the chief from Richland Township, which is Glenmont. Um, it's Richland Township? Yeah. So it's it's a township police department no, or it's, the it's village, a village? Village in Richland Township. Yeah. Okay. It's a village in Richland. But you have no but you have no ID from them. No, all right. No, no, no. And have you ever been sworn in by them? I've talked to the chief. No, no. So I'm asking you a direct asked. question. Have Did, you been sworn in now, by this them? It's very important you answer this correctly because being a former police officer or someday a current police officer, you know if you lie in this situation, you go directly to jail. No, I'm not. So I'm going to put not, that right listen, up. Listen, I'm not. So trying, if I'm you not, are telling me you are a police officer right now, is I'm, that what you're telling no, me? No. So you are not a commissioned police officer. I have spoke with the chief. That's not what I'm asking okay. you. I'm asking you one question. Are you a commissioned police officer through the state of Ohio? I have an OPUTA certificate. That's not what That's I'm asking. That's not what I'm asking I'm, you. I'm explaining to you. I have no, 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 you're not. You're not answering the question. You're avoiding the question. It's very simple. Are you a sworn police officer anywhere in the state that of Ohio with any department? Not currently. Okay. That's right. not the question. That, well, well, I'm oh, not I'm, currently. I'm unsure. I'm unsure. I'm unsure. You can't be unsure. You can't be unsure. You would have to raise your hand, square, okay. sign a form, and you would get I've talked to paperwork the on that. Okay. Hello. Talking to the chief is not enough. Uh, yeah, the chief of police is here, so. Yeah, so he's not commissioned with a big one. So that he's not going to get back. Okay. Uh, one second. Would you be willing to speak to the supervisor from the company? From? From Washington. From Watchman? Yes. Is he an actual police officer? You are an actual police officer, correct? Uh, okay. Okay. Yes, he is. Where, where, are, you, where are you commissioned at? It, it doesn't matter. He's not here doing anything. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care if he's uh, the superintendent of the state highway patrol. That's irrelevant to the situation. Okay. So uh, you can talk to him if you I want, Rex, but I got no Yeah. Interest. Hello? Yeah, this is Sergeant Atkins with the Ohio Police Department. Okay. <laughs> well, the issue has is that we have a, a off-duty officer, or not an off-duty officer, a person acting as an off-duty officer uh, with a semi-marked vehicle. It's red and black and white, it doesn't have any police markings on it, but it does have red and blue lights on it that were being displayed out on one of our main thoroughfares, Broad Street, okay, with a gentleman wearing a vest that's marked police and a full duty belt with a badge that says Pickway County Sheriff's Office, stating he's working special duty here in the city of Whitehall, all right? Now the issue is, is that this company that works for AEP, they never contacted us about any special duty, all right, to work. And I know the lady at AAP, because I deal with her all the time, and she always contacts me if they have something here in Whitehall that they need special duty for. There. So, so. And I asked about this, because I did. I really did. I promise you, okay? I promise you guys 110%. I am not. I and promise. I had the same issue with AWP before. So I'm not putting the blame totally on, on you or anything like that that with the Cleveland Watchman group, but AWP has tried this before, and then they say, well, no one wants to work. Well, that's not true, okay? We have our own special duty officers that work these traffic details, okay? And if we can't get it, we contract with the sheriff's office here locally. There. Dude's in deep shit.
Okay, he he is not a commission officer. Actually, I have a I have a female officer here that worked for P Pickway County that now works for us, and she said that Casey was fired from them. All right. However, he's out here in a full duty belt with a police vest with police markings on it, displaying a badge that says Pickway County. And it's not a real badge anyway, it's a fake plastic badge that someone's had made. <laughs> oh, Lord. oh yeah, because we're deciding now if we're what we're gonna take him on, if we're gonna take him. And this vehicle belongs to who? Because he says it belongs to the company. Okay. I understand that. He's not commissioned through anybody right now. I lied and said he, he was, I bet. He says it's Richland, Richland Township. And I said, it, well, is it a township or is it a village? He said, well, it's a village. I said, well, it's one or the other. I said, you know, it's either a township police department, a village police department, a city police department. You, you, you tell me. And I, so we got down to the nitty gritty and we just flat asked him, are you a sworn officer with any place in the state of Ohio, any department? I don't care if it's a township, a village, a city, what? He says, well, I have a, a, a pot of certificate. I said, I didn't ask that. I said, are you a sworn police officer? And he said, no. Which doesn't matter. And we know he's not part of that. <laughs> right. Um, I, yeah, I haven't had a chance. What's up with this cop? He's wigging out or something. Okay. What's your first name again? I'm sorry. Dare? What's a phone number for the company or a way I can get a hold of you if I need to? No, that's all right. Just so I have a number to go for. Um, yeah, but let me talk to the other, find out what's going on here, and I will call you, give you a call back, all right, and let you know. Um, if he does. Well, here's the, the question. That if he does end up going with us, all right, um, what do you want to do with this vehicle? I understand. Um, let me figure it out, call you back, and I'll let you know. All right, ready? He said they're flagmen. Yeah, but I know. There's the one that hired me. Right, I'm going to leave it to you. Um, yeah, he no says, matter what, we're going to do a code one on it, right? Yeah, he says that, he's, I just talked to the owner of this company. He says that that area, this area-wide protection contacted them, all right, and said, we have a detail in Columbus that we can't get covered. Can you guys do it? He said, I was not aware it was in, he goes, I don't, I'm from Cleveland. I don't know your jurisdictional boundaries on it. He said, I was told it was in Columbus and they did not want it and were not available. And I explain how we do it. He says, I understand. I I totally understand what you mean. That it's in your jurisdiction yeah. and you contact the county if not. He said, he's never met this guy. He says, I've never met him. He goes, I was advised through other people that he worked for the village of Glenmont and he had a commission with them. 
goes, and we hired him because he lived down there. He goes, I would never have sent, he goes, this is their car. He said, we have maintained our own fleet of cars up here because we work mostly up here in Cleveland area. He goes, I would have never sent him five hours away with one of our cars if I didn't know he wasn't a police officer. He goes, I'm being a, and I said, all right, I understand that. All right, well, he's getting hold of the chief of that department. So we'll verify there that he's not that one, and he's not that one, obviously. So and he does so, not have a CCW. I'm okay with whichever route you go with it, and he doesn't have a CCW. So I'm okay if, if you want to write it and then just put a stop to it, or if you want to charge him, I don't, I don't care or what. All right. 55, you good if we clear them? Um, yeah, what's this? You need me any more Rex? No. Yeah, no, no thanks. But I, I just want to... What does... Uh, did you contact Tickway? I did. I talked contact Lieutenant. All right. What was their uh, take on it? What did they? He said absolutely not. He's left a while. He left before I left because he was under investigation and he was going to be dismissed. So he chose to quit before that investigation ended. Did they get all their badges back? Yes, that's a made one. I know, and but that's what I'm saying because when I initially asked him, he said he had a Pickway County badge. That one. Well, and that's when I yeah when we I require, said show me. Yeah, it has to be checked off. When you leave, you have to turn in your ID. Okay, I just want to make sure. So, yes, I want to make sure he it. does not have anything else on him. No, though. so he probably, when he, because he worked in the jail, he never worked the road. So when he worked in the jail, our deputies still get the deputy badges. So he probably scanned, because that looks like it's just a sticker. So he probably yeah. scanned that, had that pre made before he left, turned in all his stuff, and then left. Which lieutenant's requesting a copy of the report as well, um, because. Off that he's representing Pickway County. I understand. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you guys are good. Then. Thanks. Right. Okay. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. This captain's supposed to call me back from Belmont or wherever. From Glenmont. 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 Yeah. Okay. He's supposed to call me back. Just so I can verify that. I just need yeah. Crazy. Down, so. If we if he's not, then that answers that. He's not going to be. He's beating around the bush way too much. So, can I talk to you before you make any decisions here? Give me one, one minute. We're going to verify one more thing with oh. All right, and then I'll, I will let you know. Take his gun, yeah. man. If you just want to hang Might out by the car, that'd be great. Um, he, I did get him to verify that he did have the gun on him while he was sitting in the cruiser. So, it, it's up to you what you want to do. I'm still going to take a report on it so I can send it to pick away. But yeah. it's really up to you what you, what you want to do with that. I think we're gonna. I think we've kind of ruined his career anywhere. Because this company's gonna fire him anyway. I just talked to the owner. And they're like, he's like, no, no, no. We were not aware of that. No, no, no. And I said, well, what do you want to do with this car? And he said, well, we'll have to send people down there if he gets arrested. So I told him I'd call him back. Okay. Um, well, I even told him I was like, I was like, if you would have been upfront with us from the get go, I was like, we would be more willing to work with you. And I was like, but you. It took my deputy chief to get in your face for you even for even to say anything. Yeah. And so he was like, yeah, well, I started yesterday. I was like, they could have written a memo, and you could have just been in a private capacity. I'm like, what made you put on the badge? I said, you didn't have to put on the badge. You could have had your gun readily available, and you could have had handcuffs. I was like, but the thing is, the only thing you could do is citizen's arrest. Hey, Casey, when were, when were you uh, sworn in at Glenmont? So, he's not. He's not. He's never been sworn in. So, so I talked to the chief. He was supposed to take care of it. So you talked to the chief today? Not the chief no. proper? No, I was just trying to call him. Oop. You were just trying to call him? For what? Yeah. Do you have his phone number? Yeah, so your time. Uninterrupted okay. to explain exactly what. Yeah, one, one second. So he's saying he should be. When was this supposed to happen if it didn't happen now? I was supposed to be this week to. to after this, this guy's never going to be a cop again. I was told it was good. I have, I have the chief's word. I, and I went on the man's word. That's what he said. You don't have any documentation. You see the issue. No, I do. And that's why I'm, I'm trying my best to call the chief. I can't get a hold of him. Because we're not exactly in business to just you know, no, no, I understand. let people come out here and say they we're all the same. One team, one fight, right? You're yeah, not we may have to because he doesn't have a CCW from there. And then he was running the vehicle. Like that might yeah. So, yeah, I, gonna that's where we're at, Cap. I, I appreciate it. I just wanted to nail it down for my report.
Williams. C A S E Y. Hello. Last name Williams. And he said he was told by. Hello. Yeah. But originally he was uh, I'm sworn in with you guys. They're calling. They're calling Prober, which is the guy that uh, a staff sergeant from the guard that. Let me ball, Let me go grab my. Sergeant Major Ball. Had to, Do you guys have more work you're going to be doing on Broad Street today? On the road here? No, we're not that we're aware of. with this job, I believe. Well, we don't know if we're going to be on this road or where we're going to be yeah, on this road. Okay. He's getting our, our boss is getting us a new work backer right now, so I don't know exactly where it will be, but I'm sure we're not going to be on We're not going to have him today. Probably not. Oh. Definitely. I can say not. Definitely not. Stop and please stop impersonating police officers, even if you used to be one. But he really wasn't a police officer. He worked in a jail. I don't know if the jailers have the same deputy uh, arrest powers as regular cops, sheriffs. I don't know. He said he may very well be in process and maybe a, you know, somebody knew him, recommended him. Well, you he, know, he he's said in the he's guard with the chief, is what it sounds like. So with the, the chief himself? That's what it sounds like. It sounds like the chief of this PD is his sergeant in the guard. Okay. So. But you should still understand he's not the police. And that's he's been commissioned as a police. Well, officer. and he, the, the only thing that, that ruined it for him was probably that Pickway County badge. Because when he displayed that to Jeff Hart and all that, and he was wearing around his neck, sorry. All right. You knew you didn't work for Pickway. You got fired. They took everything. You turned everything back in. All right. So. Yeah. Lock him we up, can, brothers. Um, yeah. Lock him up. Like it's, uh, and we'll park his car. I'll call the owner of the company back and tell them they can come pick up their cruiser. And is the is the company still all the way in Cleveland? Yeah. So he drove all the way to Cleveland because no. he lives in Asheville, or does he live up that way? I don't know how he got the car, but he's the guy said the guy the company owner said yes. I would not have sent a guy, you know, five hour round trip with one of our cars. Jeez. So he must have drove to Cleveland at some point, picked up one of their cars on a five hour trip to come down here. He goes, he goes, I was told by area wide protection that this was a Columbus detail and Columbus didn't want it. Yeah, and that's fine. But at some point in time, where he goes, he's never met this guy. Yeah, but how did they, yeah, well, that's what I'm saying, how did they verify people's commission? Well, that's the problem. It sounds like they're they're not exactly. Yeah, because then did you say, hey, you can't have red and blue lights? Well, up in Cleveland, Cleveland, he sounds. This guy, the owner of the company, works for Cleveland. He says we mostly work around here in Cleveland, which I can't believe Cleveland P, P, officers are happy with that. Are happy with one of their own starting a company and undercutting their special duty. But that's what it sounds like they did. They may not have the ability to cover it. No, that, either. that could be. But he hires nothing but off to the office. Now he may hire. Well, he may hire. I mean, they had that that FBI thing that stepped in there a little while. Yeah, and they may and they may have hired like townships and villages around Cleveland. You get to see the inner workings of the police, right? Special I, duties. I found a good paying job, and I was told by the guys like, hey. Take care of a commission, we get it taken care of, it's no big deal. I come out here, yeah, I was told, hey, you can start, make some money. That's all I was trying to do. Please do not 
I'm, I'm asking you for courtesy, man to man, please do well, not ruin my career. Please, please, please. I, I okay. think I think you did that kind of on your own case. Yeah, please. buddy. All right. Um, the Pickway County, you knew you didn't work for Pickway County. You displayed that badge. All right. You're out here acting in a law enforcement capacity, displaying a badge that you have no right to have, or a facsimile of a badge. That's not even a real badge. Yeah. You were aware of that. Yeah, okay? it's, not, it's not real. Okay, so, all right, you're gonna be charged. Oh, seriously? I'm serious, okay? Now, we're gonna be nice about this, okay? And we're gonna take you over, and you can take your gun belt off, and you can set it on the hood of that car, okay? okay? Um, and we're gonna take you in. We will not, we don't have to handcuff you. This officer is gonna pat you down, all right? And we'll let you out, all right, on a summons, all right. Now, are we too far for me to? We, we, yeah, we're, we're, yeah, we're, yeah, we're. Listen, okay. Completely deceptive. Here's the problem. Here, here's you don't understand that right now we can charge you for improperly handling in a vehicle. I can charge you for impersonating a police officer. All right, I, there's tons of charges. What are you charging? Me? Here, well, probably the impersonation of a police officer. So, so all the right. best thing to do that, right now. Is to just take off the belt. Yeah, and I'm, I'm going to All right, so let's step over here and take care of that first. Smith, right here, right here. Right. Take off the belt. There goes his career. If he ever wanted to be the police, you don't have anything else on you, do you? No. All right. Just, uh, no, no, no. Just don't reach in. All right. You, you yeah. should know the drill. Nope. Nope. Don't underlock. Like it, Brian. Okay. Like it, Brian. Don't the best part of waking up um, is imposters in jail. We will, we will get a chance. I'm going to call the owner of the company, you mean? The guy I spoke with? I'm going to talk to him. He gave me his number, said to call him back. Okay. All right. Which which one? The one that you talked to on the phone on George? Phone? Yeah. No, the owner is John Ball. Well, George is, is who I'm going to call back because okay. he's the one. I... He's just the supervisor. Okay. John is the owner. John's the one that talked to Sergeant Roper who was supposed to help me. But you never talked to Sergeant Roper. I did. I did talk to Sergeant Roper, yes. Yeah. Go ahead. I'll whistle. Whistle around the neck. Yeah. Ooh, and there's oh, this gun belt. Goodness. We're just going to lock this Weird. up so he can't take it. Yeah, we'll just take that in. And... Can we discuss another charge at least? Like the... You can charge him for being an mm -hmm. idiot. <laughs> Where are the keys to this car? Where's the, where's the keys to this car? Is it with your regular keys? Is it with your regular? Yeah, they're on my regular. Do you have a property um, back? There might be one in the back of that. You might even get kicked out of the National Guard. I'm not sure. It's probably part-time reserve, right? I think everybody's on the National Guard. Not sure though. Hey, I put his uh, down in your floorboard and then I unload the gun. The gun's in the holster, but his magazine's on your seat. Just because I have literally zero storage and he's in my seat that I put stuff in. And I'm in the passenger seat. No problem. He's got an iPhone charger. Um, we'll see if he wants the stuff out of this car because I think the company's going to probably come back down here and get this. Seventy-four. Did you work? Yes, sir. Do be advocate just called in here. Says that a maggot hall has been around here. Just came from court and she's pretty upset. She's concerned about his family being at the apartment when she tried to go get her belongings. He's eating little kid food, lunchables. Okay, guess that she wants to stand by for property. Is that what it sounds like to you? Yeah, that's right, and she wants us to make sure that we're watching for her coming in, not sure if the family's going to follow her.
55 to radio. Yeah, I cop part of that traffic data. Is that the one over on uh, Fountain Lane? Not sure. Alright, yep, 55 to L74. Go ahead. Alright, yeah, that was at uh, Code 3 from yesterday, where they went up to New Albany to locate. They had uh, all the handguns. I believe it was part of the agreement, or they were going to make an agreement with the uh, protection order that he surrender those, or they, they collect them from the apartment. That may be what it's about. Hey, is the trunk button in the okay. glove box there? 74 radio, when she shows up, you can just, uh, I don't, I'm not aware of anything special that needs to go on. You can just have an officer handle that as normal. Might have some more cop gear in his trunk. I'm just going to take all of this. Yeah, take care. Oh my god. Rifle. All right. And it's loaded, right? Okay. We're not going to. Yeah. Take all his stuff and you can throw it in my car. Okay. I'll put it in the back of yours. So. He was ready for war, man. Uh oh. Deputy Sheriff. Oh, I'm just throwing everything. In the I don't know if they take your patches away, do they? Hey, I think you're just gonna have to go the full course. Yeah, that's what I said. I think it's that's a five long. Yeah, it's beyond that. I'm gonna go ahead and park this here. I'll call the company. They can come get it. I'll lock it up. Here's his keys. Yeah, go ahead and take him in, do a uh, interview on him, Mirandize him, do an interview. Basically, same questions you were asking. I'd rather not. Uh, you got it. No, but here's not that. Here's what I was said. Why don't we have this towed to our lot where it's at least semi sort of secure, like where we can watch it on camera? And no, then we true. can probably put it in the basement. Well, no, we just as long as it's on the lot. lot. Okay. All right, yeah, let's do, let's do that. Good idea. I just would hate that somebody come kind of jack up their car. Especially since it does have red yeah. and blues. This dude might be even getting cuffed. Buddy, they're cuffing him, ain't they? What's that? Well, things change. You know, we try to do the reasonableness test here, but listen, man, there's just way too much. You're, you've got a code in there that doesn't belong to you. That's got deputy sheriff stuff on there. You got a loaded rifle. You're a traffic guy, man. That's all your details going to be. What active shooter situation are you going into? That you need to carry a loaded rifle and rifle blades. Listen, this is all because we're trying to look cool, whatever. I get it. Well, you're completely in the wrong. That's all I can tell you. Go ahead and put your foot in there. Do you have a... Do you have your Our boss is headed here now if you need to talk to him. That'll work. I'll right. talk to him. Talk. You get here, quick. <laughs> he says you're getting locked up next. <laughs> Please, I'm begging. He'll tell you right now. He hung up. He's... 
<laughs> don't tell him to make no break no laws getting here, all right? I, I got enough he going will, on. Yeah. He'll come in though. here sideways. Please, he'll cry. <laughs> It's, it's already starting out to be a, a long day. Um, we probably, is that one his? Oh yeah, uh, it had the red and white tag on it. I got it. It's okay. okay. Um, <laughs> yes, we'll have to do it because we'll have to give the tow uh, company okay. one. Okay. His dream was to become an officer, right? Not anymore, brother. You probably won't even be allowed to even own a gun after this. Did he, uh, did he tell you he was in a guard unit, Jeff? Huh? Did he tell you he was in a guard unit? He said a guard unit, right? That's what I thought he said, yeah. So supposedly now, I wasn't speaking. Hey, before you do your, um, Before you do that, just he's going to keep talking to us. Yep. Yeah. 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 Understand? I have to give a beta. We just have to cover like two things. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Jeez. All this because he wants to play police. That way, it goes to utter something or whatever. Now, spontaneous utterance is an utterance. I'm sure you can explain that, but you know, that way, if you got that burning question that comes right after he says it, you're right. So. Okay. Sidebar uh, investigating potential police officers because you don't think like what's the like I could see somebody pulling this like somewhere crazy but like in the middle of a municipality like well and that guy said he goes I he goes I was told it was Columbus he goes we'd have never done this all right he goes you know he goes I he goes trust me I I work for Cleveland I understand jurisdiction I understand that whole thing because I understand. It. You, know, you don't step on other. He goes up here. We work with all the departments around us and stuff. And I said, you know, that's not. I, I not blaming it all on you. What I'm saying is, is that. It's good news. Yeah. Dude, he's got. It, it got even. It kept his He's yeah, got a so, loaded rifle and everything. Yeah. With the rifle plates, a fake badge, a jacket that says has deputy sheriff patches on it from Pickway. He got fired from it. Said he was commissioned with the Glenmont Village. Called them and they're like, never heard of him. And then he was like, well, I mean, it was supposed to be done this week. I, I was going off a man's word. Like, you don't just, you don't just get to be a police officer. Going off a man's word. word. And he's been commissioned like three years. Yeah, old Christmas, he's going to hire me, so I've yeah, he's pretty much got me. He's been commissioned at three Charging other places. Charging with the CCW? And it's like, huh? Charging with the CCW? What? No, he had the improper, but I think we're just going to get him. Yeah. I mean, because it's open carry, he's on the ship, other than being in the car, yeah, he got the improper, but I think. Which, that's a dumb I law. Him, but I mean, I think it's just impersonating a police officer. Yeah. I mean, realistically, you know what I'm saying? You're in a car, right? So it's carrying a concealed weapon because you can't see it. What happens if there's no doors on the car? Just, just say, I know it's never going to happen. You know what I mean? Just say there's no doors. Is that still carrying a concealed weapon? Or not, because you can see it. It's not concealed, right? Uh, it's fine. That's stupid. It's like splitting hairs. You should be able to own a gun. You own a gun. You can carry it anywhere you want. You know what I'm saying?
I don't get it. But yeah, I'm probably going to end the video here because too much more doesn't happen in this video. Uh, it's just them bullshit talking. There's no interview or anything in this video. Um, but yeah, the guy got busted, impost being an imposter, impersonator. Uh, and any uh, dream of, he, of him having to want to be a police officer just went down the tubes. And like I said earlier, he's probably going to forfeit his gun rights because if he gets a felony for impersonating then yeah, the goodbye to your gun rights. And then you'll never be a police officer. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys, tell me what you think about this video in the comments below. Until next time, peace out. Hey guys, if you really like these clips, give me a, a like, a share, and a follow on YouTube. All right, man? Peace.